everyone welcome to coffee with the core team i'm sydney and today we are here with jace hey jace hi how are you good Glad to be here yeah and uh i've got my soda with me not coffee jace do you have your coffee with you or another got drink? some coffee i got a topo chico as well got a got a drink for each hand lovely okay jace well tell me about yourself what do you do at scale labs yeah, I'm a solutions engineer at Scale Labs, and uh, we have a few different roles. Uh, we interface with customers, helping them troubleshoot their issues, getting onto Web3, um, helping them build uh, build on scale or leverage scale to like benefit their DAP. And we also work uh, with engineering to get new features uh, brought mm -hmm. um, into existence from customer suggestions. So um, we kind of do a lot of different things um, depending on the day. And what drew you to scale labs like why were you interested in you know joining the team yeah so i i have a pretty long background in crypto um not necessarily in the same aspects um i started as just an interest in the philosophy of bitcoin and how that uh, interacts with society is a very interesting idea back in 2013 i got into more of the financial side um in 2016 and got into trading um, and then I guess my third phase was, I was just really looking around at a lot of different crypto projects and reading the white papers and the, the kind of the third phase, I think is like the pragmatic phase, like the implementation and the access to everyday people. And the really interesting thing that stood out about scale, as soon as I saw it was the zero gas fees, and then really dug into the white paper to, to learn, like, how do they do this? And just kind of my jaw dropped. I was I was in, as impressed as I was when I read the Ethereum white paper and when I read the Bitcoin white paper um, as moving the space forward to make it accessible to more people without like having them to pay for every transaction. Jay, so you mentioned that you're interested in trading and markets, DeFi being one of the major areas in Web3. Could you maybe break down DeFi a bit for us and explain what it is? So yeah, and on scale, we actually have uh, an exchange, a DeFi exchange called Ruby, um, which if you haven't had a chance to go check it out, is a, a very interesting um, experience once you can set aside the gas fees and don't have to worry about um, all the problems that come into DeFi when you have to front the cost for every transaction. Uh, you can be a little bit more strategic and uh creative with your trades. And so I think there's a lot of applications to be explored um, by giving people the ability to make free transactions on DeFi. Okay, Jay, so unrelated to scale, but if you could bring back one famous person from the dead, who would it be and why? Yeah, so the person that comes to mind is Marshall McLuhan. Um, and if uh, you're not familiar with him, he coined a lot of famous phrases and was a, a media philosopher um, back, got to start in the 1940s, but the, the medium is the message is his, I, um, his kind of iconic phrase or the medium is the massage. Like, uh, we build the tools and then the tools build us. And I would just be fascinated to know his take and his ideas on what this space is doing and transforming in society. Yeah. Awesome. So what do we have to look forward to, um, with the scale verse what's upcoming and could you maybe tease for us a few things? Yeah, there's there's a lot coming down the pipeline. Um, one of the things that'll be in the near future is um, we already have games minting and using NFTs to play, uh, but we have some marketplaces that will be making their way to scale for users to be able to actually uh, interact with an economy and their NFTs. And we also have some very interesting projects, um, which I believe I can say now since they've announced they're not fully live yet, but uh, Xord, which is a very interesting data platform um, that really decentralizes uh, the idea of validating information um, in terms of news and all sorts of things. And very interesting project that really wouldn't be possible on other networks because of the prohibitive gas fees. So this is one of those use cases that I'm very excited to see that really wouldn't be available elsewhere um, without having like zero gas. So those are a few things that you can look forward to coming out soon. Super exciting. And we also have a blog on Xword. So go check yes. it out now. Um, all right, Jace. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. It was a pleasure. And we have these all the time. 
Coffee with the Core team, be on the lookout in our blog and on our social. Um, Jace, thank you again. And bye, everyone. Thanks for having me.